Hello, another shelf, another day, and this is behind the Monda Macabro. So I, I said to you, what have we got behind here? And we got the Synapse releases and some Italian stuff. So going to crack on with this because it's a big, big old shelf. Um, Flavia the Heretic. This is fully, un uh, fully uncut. It's released over here on Shameless. Cracking little movie, Nunsploitation. Good old video shop fave, um, Black Roses. I do love these rock, you know, I'm brought up on rock music and stuff, but I do like these rock music horror things. Looking forward to Trick or Treat coming out. Uh, Entrails of a Virgin, fully uncut. Sick Girl, this is a good little low budget movie. If, you, if you've never seen it, it's a, it's a good one. Uh, and same for this next one, which is a twisted one. Uh, a header. <laughs> if you know what a header is, then you know what you're getting into. It's not going to be for everyone, that one, though. Um, thriller, a cool picture. I'm probably going to sell this on because I've got the uh, 4K from Vinegar Syndrome, which is absolutely amazing, which has got all the different versions. This has just got the hardcore stunt cock version, as I call it. Lucker, the Necrophagus, which is got the two different cuts on it it's got the original cut this is like a shot on video imagine necromantic but a little bit more nastier and sleazier um i, th I think it's quite sleazy this one um to be honest i'm going to move this pile out of the way because uh, i'm gonna to have to get to these ones got mosquito it's got stars gunner hansen look he's got a chainsaw on the front they've obviously cashed him with the old chainsaw quite like this monster movie little bit of splatter in there. It's really cool. Uh, my mate Robin sent me these back in the day. Demons 2 uh, and Demons. I love I loved Demons. I, I just think they're great movies. Um, Maniac Cop. I've also got another version of this. I might have to get rid of that one. Just Desserts, which is... Funnily enough, this is actually on the UK Creep Show. And I didn't realise... Um, <clears throat> but I think it's got a few more extras, but I'll have to check. If not, that'd be going on for sale. Hands of the Ripper, Hammer um, Blu ray DVD combo pack, Exterminator, and it is a nice sleazy exploitation classic. Olga's Girls, black and white, shot in black, black and white. If, if you like in the, uh, the Flesh trilogy, you'd like them. <clears throat> Twins of Evil, this is signed up one. Got it signed by Damien Thomas and John Hill. Intruder, this is the limited edition one which had the work print. This was an exclusive. Um, I got 455 out of 500. So you got the Blu ray, then you got the DVD art of the exclusive work print. Li very, very limited. Out of print, obviously, because um, it was only 500. So there's 500 of these in the world. And uh, I've got one of them. Favourite of mine, uh, the Dawn That Drip Blood. Nice little video nasty favourite. It's just cracking. And it's got some extra gore in there, which weren't in the UK release. Curtains. Another little gem. Ca Canadian canoe exploitation, as they call it. But it's, it's a cracking little film. Life and Death of a Porno Gang. I actually showed this um, as a double feature. Gang Bang double feature. And it's the only film I've seen people walk out of. Um, yeah, not for everyone. I'm telling you that now. Thunder Crack, which is the two disco. It's got the theatrical cut and the extended director's cut. Again, this isn't going to be for everyone. I've seen the shorter version with an audience. It's just cracking. <laughs> Pardon the pun. <laughs> Personal favourite, nice splatter thick, it's great, um, and that's Street Trash, um, also out on 88 Films here. I wish there was a 4K of this, because it, it, it deserves it. Um, this is one film that definitely deserves the 4K treatment. Um, Maritus, Legions of the Dead, no, we, gory little film. Um, I don't know why it says banned in Italy, but I'm, I'm sure there's worse films out there. But oh, I thought it was pretty good. <clears throat> Radley Metzger's The Image, one of my favourite slices of erotica. It's, it's 
definitely if you like your soft core and hardcore um vintage erotica then you're you're gonna love this one i do love a bit of radley metzger <clears throat> one that's coming out on um vinegar syndrome in the near future singapore sling i've actually shown this uh in a monochrome madness double feature i showed this with uh the first coffin joe film cyclone which I think has had a couple of reissues. I think this has been released on Blu-ray now, but I'm, I'm just not going to upgrade that. Brutes and Savages, the uncivilised version, Mondo documentary thing. If you like that sort of thing. Japanese splatter movie, um, Stacy. See this long before it come out on, the, on DVD. But yeah, if you like that. Japanese horror. Fatal Frames. Um, I think this has just had a reissue on Blu-ray in Italy. Um, one of the later Italian films, proper proper shit fest, and uh, highly recommended. Bizarre. I know this has had a, a reissue now, uh, and it's got the what's that? Uh, the what's his taste? I can't think of his name. <laughs> Battle Girl, Living Dead of Tokyo Bay. There was a slew of Japanese horrors that come out. Um, this is a South African film, Death of a Snowman. 70s black exploitation classic. It's a it's a good little film as well. The other Japanese uh entrails of a beautiful woman. Dario Argento's World of Horror. The Violent Shit Collection, which has also got um Zombie 90 Extreme Pest Pestilence on it, got tongue tied in, excuse me. One of the greatest canon musicals ever to be put on screen the apple i dare you to watch this film it's cracking cracking musical just out there laughable you wonder what's bloody going on i'm telling you it's recommended night of Lepus. this has just had a uk um reissue hunting party cracking little western oliver reed candace bergman gene hackman nasty as well um for a western you wouldn't think it with those styles in but it's it is it's bit grim uh devils of darkness witchcraft nice double feature there along with this if you like your exploitation movies proper <laughs> proper um politically incorrect this is two-headed transplant thing with two heads house where evil dwells these are all like mgm uh features uh that count is dracula vampire lovers which has got the uncut version of vampire lovers on there this is a good little lost lost feature. Chosen Survivors, if you've never seen that. That's a good little thing. Uh, and the day... Um, the Earth Dies Screaming. I don't know why I was saying day days screaming. Get, get me fucking... Let's move them down the end. Oof. It's breezing through this. Oh, God. My brain's not in gear on, this, on the English title. But I've also... This come out on... Um, Cold Blooded Blaze. This this actually come out on UK Blu-ray in a slightly different version um, from eighty eight films. So yeah, Napoli Caliber Nine. These are cop cop movies. Um, Young, violent, and dangerous. These are um, the Rero video stuff that come out. Some of these I've got on blu-ray not all of them though i think i got rid of one of the sets um waves of lust uh ruggiero diodato nudity and all that sort of thing um killers and the boss you know henry silver you can't go wrong with henry silver let's be honest 2b20 which i know has had uh, a different release but this is a two disc with the two different cuts on it Great little movie. You've never seen 2B20. Uh, Perfume of a Lady in Black, which is had a UK release as well. 88 films. Same with this. We'd, this has had a release, but it's also out of print now. Um, Live Like a Cop, Die Like a Man. Manhunt. Fernando De Leo. Cop movie. These are all cop stuff in Italian. Uh, Naked Violence. Again, Fernando de Leo. Cracking little movies, these are. Uh, Madness. 
really enjoyed this. Um, really, uh, some of these are, are, are little gems. Torino Viner, you can pick this up. This one really cheap. It's like a fiver. Uh, English dub though. Um, Vine at Naples. This was released on Luminous Film and Video Works. It says Alpha Digital, but it was there was an old website, um, L um, Luminous Film Video Works. They done put a load of bootlegs out, including uh, the Oliver Reed. Uh, what do you call it? Can't think of it. But they yeah, they used to put out boots, and it's a little bit booty to be honest. When you see the label, you'll understand why. It's a silver press disc, but. It is what it is. You know, it's the, the only way you're going to get to see this movie. I'm sure someone's going to put a print out of this uh, soon enough. Uh, Violent Professionals. I know this is out of Blu-ray. I'm just not going to upgrade. Uh, and same with like this. Uh, Violence in the City. Just just not going to. You're a crime. Excellent documentary on uh, crime movies and assassination. This is booty to hell. Maya releases. I think all their ones were pretty, pretty booty to be honest. I got rid of a load of them. Uh, this is Ransom Baby, the only one I, I just kept to be honest. Got Warner Archive. Of, of, these are DVDRs before um, Warner Archive started pressing stuff. The Pack, which is good little um, dogs attacking people. I've uh, got a poster on my living room. Funny enough, of that right now. Windows. It's a cracking little um, melodrama, sort of psychological. It's good. It's a cracker. Just like this is, Bad Ronald. Great little TV movie. Um, if you've never seen it, it's just cracking. They don't make TV like this. Night School, which was an old... I think this was might have even been on the old Video Nasties list, but yeah, it's a cracking movie. Savage Sisters, I've got a signed VHS. I've still got the old tape of that. <clears throat> the Night Digger, can highly recommend this British film. Um, it's just a cracker, deserves to be seen. A uh, good little thriller. And last but not least, we end up on a nasty note with In a Glass Cage. Very nasty. I forgot these four sign apps. It's tacked on at the end. McBain. Just recently bought this one. Cracking little film. The Kindred. This is a steelbook edition. Cracking little video shop uh, movie from back in the day. Got great artwork as well. I can't do it one-handed because I know it's it's going to fall out. But I, I left it on the other shelf. Um, this is a personal favourite. Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue. We got with a soundtrack. Look at that artwork. And the artwork on the tin's even better. He says, as I can pull it out, look at that artwork. Oh, look at that. That's brilliant. I'd love that on a T-shirt, I'll tell you. Uh, like I said, it's got a soundtrack. And one of my personal favourites of all time. Let's have a 4K of this. The uncut, the brain that wouldn't die. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Anyway, I'm going to have to tack that on the end of the, the synapse. I'm sorry, but I missed it. Missed out on it. Anyway, next one will be Arrow. <laughs> Take care. See you all soon.